So first things first, if your washer jets aren't working, you're gonna check the fuse. Obviously, check this here if you can hear the pump running. So if you look down here, there is a little, there's two little tabs. You just wind them like that, and then this will fall down. And it is on this particular vehicle. It is fuse number 136, and it's that 15 amp fuse on the tree. Three uh, gang fuels lying there, so it's that 15 amp on this particular vehicle. The fuels is good, so your car might be different. So, and they just they just kind of wind up like they're pretty straightforward. You can do it by hand. And um, get the manual out, have a quick look. You'll see washer jet and find out where it is on your particular car. But they all could be the same. I'm not 100 percent sure. So the first thing you're gonna do if you're gonna go down to the washer bottle is we're going to remove this pipe it goes into a little rubber on the side here you can just about see it there see it so there is a clip on it i have it unclipped here so i'll show you how it works you can see the clip there so you can just kind of wiggle it out i'll just make sure you're going back into the hole when you're refitting it so you can just kind of wiggle it wiggle it out and push try push in on that clip while you're pulling it and that'll pop out and that'll give you a bit of access later on it will make the bottle fall down so I'm just gonna refit it here so it just pushes in and you'll have to manhandle it till the clip goes on so that's the way it should be from the engine bay on the right hand side we're gonna follow it down. We're gonna take off your wheel, make sure the car is, the car is supported. Um, and then we're gonna take out a load of focus. 30 Torexes and there's one ten. So there's one underneath here, comes up, one here, one there, two there. Um, there's one there and one there and then you should be able to get the arch liner to come off so if we, you see I can just pull it a little bit out and I'll just fold it out of the way there you'll actually need to go a little bit further with it kind of just catch it like kind of catch it like that and now you can see the water bottle I've, I've previously had this out so there's a, a 10 here and a 10 here, I want you to undo them. I have them out already because I've had this out. You're gonna lose some water, so just have something to catch it in if you're in the workshop, or if not, it's gonna be on the ground. So you can you can kind of see this will fall down. It is a lot heavier when you have the water in it. And here is the washer pump. So it has two pipes on it, and it has a block connector, so. I will show you how to pull it out. You just get your finger in behind. Actually, pull this little cable out for us. Give me a bit of go. Sorry, I am struggling with this with one hand. All it is is it's pushed onto a rubber. That rubber there. So that's what holds it in and them little grabs you can see the little barbs there on this so it only pushes in that's the only thing what holds it all you're going to do is pop them two pipes off and this connector here so if you look at the connector it just has a tab here you press the tab up i can't do it with one hand yeah there you go so yeah just make sure there's no um, water ingress on this one. So a little, I cleaned it all out. And you just press that tab in there, and that tab, you can kind of see it moving there, pulls it up. And then you can replace your washer there. You could also, if you wanted to test it, you could put a, a meter across the two probes there. So it'll be, it, when you operate the motor inside the windscreen washer jets, it will, should get 12 volts down here. Um, I'm gonna clean this one out and I'll take out the rubber. If I can get it out with one hand. 
But I just popped it out. I just put a little screwdriver in behind it and just pulled this little rubber out. You can actually see it's kind of blocked there. So it's definitely worth cleaning this out. And maybe even run some water through the bottle if you have any debris in the bottom of the bottle itself. It's pretty clean in there if you can focus. No, no, zoom. It's pretty clean in there. You can kind of see it. So I'll run a bit more water through this just to flush out whatever's in the bottom of it. And uh, just reassemble. It should be pretty straightforward. So you can see the shit in there. Kind of blocks it up. It's just algae or something like that, you know? Some type of congealed washer fluid. Who knows? It's a pretty straightforward job. I'd say book about half an hour to do it. Just on the way back together, make sure you clip this cable back in. Kind of just clips into a... You kind of need to unpull it, pull it out to get the block connector off. That's pretty straightforward. Now if you've pulled any of these out, make sure to just... There is some connectors here that you could disconnect it. And a wiring loom connector just there. If you want to take the whole bottle down and like pressure wash it out. So that could be an option. If you want to, just watch.